Vintage Composer back again with King Felix, Stan the Man, and Sandy Koufax to talk about oddball sets and issues, those rare or limited sets and subsets that didn't have a very long shelf life. And we're going to start with 1982. Tops and the Squirt Citrus Soft Drink had a cross promotion in 81 and 82 to sell the soda and advertise Topps cards. This is the second and final year of that promotion, 1982. A 22 card release. The backs look similar to the design of 82 base set. And they are perforated between the card and the advertisement. And again, between the advertisement and this little uh, pop out, which you could, which distributors would punch and put on the top of a 20 ounce bottle. And some panels came with one or two players. And those that had just one, like these, instead of the advertisement here, had either a contest for free groceries or a scratch-off game. So it's 22 cards, and they range on you know, Jerry Remy, George Brett, a few Hall of Famers there, Ron Guidry, Bill Garner, Hawk. A little smaller than two and a half by three and a half. But the cool thing when you find them intact, nonetheless. off to the side. In 1986, the second of three years, Don Ross released the Highlights baseball set, which was a 56, I believe, card release. This set is still sealed, so they all come in boxes. They started in 85, went from 85 through 87. And a little card thank you, help you're satisfied with the purchase. And then a block of sealed cards. Card number one, Will Clark. A home run in his first at bat. Now again, these are from 86, but they were released at the end of the season, so they're based on the 86 season itself. So Clark, a rookie in 86, did hit a home run his first major league at bat. The set also comes with a mini puzzle set of Hank Aaron, who was the featured puzzle player uh, that year. Wax Packs had the full three-piece, uh, full-size puzzle pieces that you can put a big big picture together. This is the same picture. It comes in 18, 18 little pieces here. It's been reported that there are other versions of the set in which the word highlights on the front come in white instead of the standard gold. Uh, it's very rare. I haven't seen anything like them. Also in 86, Donruss released all-star cards in wax packs and inserted within those packs were these pop-ups die cut cards perforated and you can pop them up and make a little 3D display. 22 cards, oh sorry, 18 cards measuring two and a half by five and a half. And when they fold out, the backdrop is the roof and upper tier of the Metrodome, which was the site of the 1985 All-Star Game in Minneapolis, in which Lamar Hoyt of the Padres was the game's MVP. So you have all your All-Star starters from from both leagues. Lots of Hall of Famers in this one as well. In 1986, Fleer Rack Packs. Fleer inserted one of these inserts per pack. They were pretty easy to put together. Future Hall of Famers, there were only six cards, and they got five of the six right. Pete Rose, not in. Asterisk yet, maybe, perhaps, maybe one day, we never know. But Nolan Ryan, of course, and then the end of their careers of Steve Carlton. Tom Seaver with the White Sox, he had another year to go in his career. Rod Carew, his final career, his final year. And Reggie Jackson, still with the Angels. So these are cool, cool cars, little write-ups on their, on their career, on what they're up to at the time, milestones. They were fun, fun cards to find back when there were hardly any inserts in base cards at the time. In 1984, a company called Star released a bunch of basketball cards and were very famous for putting out those products from say 84, through the early 90s, they were they got into the baseball stuff in about 86, and from 86 to 90, they put out a bunch of 
small sets uh, featuring certain players like Will Clark, Jose Canseco, Don Mattingly, Roger Clemens. I happen to have this set of Gary Carter, Expo and Met. This is from 87 and it features a bunch of photos. Uh, they had the license to use the logos from both franchises, talking about his career, uh, lots of stats. This goes up to the 1986 World Series. And the one thing on these cards, and, and most of those in the early releases of Star, is because it came out in 1984, the copyrights on the backs, see if you can see, it does say 84, even though the card is from 87. So it's a little confusing to figure out. I mean, it says 87 on the front here, but for some reason they kept all the copyrights the same, the same year throughout. But lots of stuff with Michael Jordan and all the NBA stars of the 80s. Uh, early on in their careers is what that company is known for. The 1988 score put out this five card retrospect of Reggie Jackson within the base set. And there was one card per franchise stop in his career, starting with the A's then going the one year with the Orioles, the five years with the Yankees and the Angels, and then going back home to Oakland to finish up in 87 and has all his stats on the back of the final one. A salute to Reggie. That's a neat little tribute they gave in 1988. In 1991, Bowman did the same with Rod Carew. A five card retrospect to start out the set. Cards number one through five of 91 Bowman. You can see his number 29, a little embossed foil jersey at the top. His number retired by both the Twins and the Angels. And it goes through his career, Rookie of the Year, MVP, the shot at 400, 400, batting 400 in 1977. And there's a bunch of fun pictures of the Panamanian. Also in 1991, Topps released an 11 card promo set, not part of the base. I don't know where really I even picked this up. Uh, it's a promo for the Babe Ruth Made for TV movie, which came out in August of 1991. It's actually advertised right here on NBC. October 6th, it was a two hour special featuring Stephen Lang as Babe Ruth. He, of course, of uh, stage and screen fame. He was in the Death of a Salesman TV movie opposite Dustin Hoffman. He starred in Tombstone, Avatar, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff that you, you know if you've seen him. Um, Rod Carew, who we just spoke of, is in this set as well. He was a special consultant because Lang himself was a right-handed hitter. So Carew came out to teach him how to hit lefty. So cool little card of the two of them. And the movie itself also starred another guy we just spoke about, Pete Rose, who starred as Ty Cobb. And because Pete Rose was banished from the game, all of his scenes, none of his scenes could be filmed in a ballpark or ballpark setting. So they filmed everything in either a restaurant or bar just to keep everything, keep everything clean for the commissioner. So it's a cool set. And it's got the same design as the 91 with the 40th anniversary logo. And the backs are the same color and the same stock as well. In the 92 score base set, company came out with a topical subset featuring collages of memorabilia, each representing a different legend with a career right up on the back. This one is Ty Cobb. It's got jersey, bats, baseballs, some uh, baseball cards, cleats, things of that nature. Pictures are of the authentic memorabilia. Here's Babe Ruth uh, from Barry Halper's collection, legendary collector. Hannes Wagner, Lou Gehrig with his Columbia jersey, and Satchel Page. And all the memorabilia that is displayed on each card had permission given for use by each individual player's estate. Also in 92, Score had a very small insert set of four cards called The Franchise, featuring Stan Musial, Mickey Mantle, Carl Yastrzemski, and one card featuring all three of them. There were 150,000 of each made 
including 200 autographed of the single players and 500 of the three on one card. And all of these were inserted randomly in series two packs of 92 score. Here's one I thought I had completed. 1993 Fleer Tom Glavin career highlights insert. Interesting, Glavin was a rookie in 87 and Fleer thought it okay to start a career highlight <laughs> tribute for him already. Uh, hadn't won the World Series yet. He had one Cy Young already given and these uh, cards show him mostly in action and a write up on the back of certain parts of his career. Goes all the way through the 1992 postseason. There are 15 cards in this set. The first 12 were randomly inserted along with a certified autograph of Glavin in all 93 FLIR packs. The odds of finding an autograph were 1 in 29,000 packs. There were three other cards available, which I just realized that they are available and I don't have them. They were available through a mail-in offer featuring a wrapper exchange. Basically, you send in 10 wrappers and a buck and you get those three cards. Several of these 12 cards have picture variations. Basically, it's this picture on the front of card number four and vice versa. So it's, I mean, not that crazy of a variation if you want to go all out and, and get every version of it. Nice little small photos on the backs as well. And cool little early career retrospect of the two-time Sign Award winner and Hall of Famer Tom Glavin. In 1996, Topps released this set in individually marked wax packs. The 1996 Topps USA Women's National Team. It was a 24 card set available, I think it was six cards or eight cards per pack, featuring Cheryl Swoops, Lisa Leslie, Rebecca Lobo. Topps was a corporate sponsor of the national team who won the gold medal in Atlanta in 1996 during the 26th Olympiad. So there's some cool color photos, American flag in the back, uh, lots of stats from each player. I think there's a team photo at the end here. There's also some profiles of some of the players. Coach. There was a, I thought there was a team photo. I'm gonna blast through real fast and just lie. Uh, there it is. Here's your Olympic champions in 96. Cool. Historic. Cool to get. Collector's Choice printed this five card subset called First Class. It was the 60th anniversary of the first Hall of Fame induction in 1936. So we saw fit to give a card to the first five players in that class, Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Walter Johnson, Christy Matthewson, and you know, Thomas Swagger. You didn't know. Full career stats on the back, the small write up on the top, cool black and white photos cut out, and popping off, off the uh, sepia backgrounds. This is from 1996 Collector's Choice.